Well, your profile picture is one of the most important first steps to online branding. And people frequently ask me where I would invest my first branding dollars. And my answer is get professional headshots done. Listen, you're being judged mercilessly. Studies show that within one second, people have already made up their mind about you. And the rest is just looking for evidence to support their initial gut reaction. Don't believe me? Think about how much time people consider a photo before swiping right or swiping left. Is this superficial? Yeah. So let me share with you a few other facts. This isn't just about dating apps. This is costing you sales and money and your ability to grow an audience. As I share some pretty shocking data, make sure you hit subscribe right now because guess what? There's more coming. And if you don't subscribe now, it could cost you lost sales, lost connections, and lost opportunities. I promise to give you powerful action items to grow your authority, influence, and revenue every week, but only if you tune in. Now, you and I might not want to hear this, but in the book Beauty Pays, Why Attractive People Are More Successful, the evidence is pretty darn conclusive. Attractive people earn an average of 3 or 4% more than people with below average looks, which adds up to a significant amount of money over a lifetime. Beautiful people are also hired sooner, get promotions more quickly, are higher ranking in their companies, and get all kinds of extra benefits and perks on the job. It turns out that more attractive people often bring more money to their companies and therefore are more valuable employees. For example, a good looking insurance salesperson will sell more insurance than one with below average looks. Now, a study showed that above average looking people who apply for loans are more likely to obtain loans and pay lower interest rates than below average looking borrowers. This occurs despite the fact that the two groups of borrowers don't differ in their demographic characteristics or credit history. Now, this isn't always the case. You're not at all doomed if you're goofy looking like me. I have some great news for you. First off, you are likely way more attractive than you think you are. It's true. We're always our own worst critic. We see our everyday looks, whether our hair is frizzy, we've got bags under our eyes, too much weight, wrinkles, double chin, unattractive hairline, whatever. You see and care about the stuff that really isn't as important to other people. Also, what exactly constitutes beauty? Personality and energy, the non-physical stuff, tends to be way more important than your complexion or your teeth, whatever your insecurity revolves around. Now, a great personality can generally overcome all that stuff. Think of someone you know who just has a really magnetic personality despite, despite their looks. It's fun to be around them. I mean, seriously, are you really attracted to someone who's shallow and mean? Of course not. Go watch the movie Shallow Hal for a refresher. Plus, you'll get to see Tony Robbins' movie debut. So let's talk about all that beautiful energy stuff that you carry. If you're a loving person, if you're a giving person, if you're a thoughtful person, you are beautiful. And people pick up on this. I pick up on this. I know you do too. So here's the issue. Getting back to profile images being judged in one second thing. Your profile picture is not you. It's a reflection of you and oftentimes a very distorted reflection of you. So it's not fair that we get judged, but we do. Now getting together in person is always going to be more impactful. In fact, a Harvard Business Review study showed that an in-person sales meeting was 34 times more likely to get a positive response than through digital means. People get to experience the real you behind those pixels 
on their device or computer screen. Now in college, I studied family science and psychology. And one thing I was fascinated with was human bonding. There's just something so powerful about being together in person and spending time together. If you and I were to discuss business over dinner or drinks or something like that, it's almost certainly going to be more memorable and impactful than sharing voices chatting on the phone for an hour. So what does that have to do with your profile picture? Well, the vast majority of us are doing business online. That's where we meet for the first time. You get to know my company, I get to know yours, we see if there's a fit. Do you like the people behind our product, etc.? At the end of the day, it's people doing business with people. So if you're representing a product or service, if you're a business owner, you need to work as hard as you can to replicate the in-person experience of being together as possible, where you will have the every advantage of sharing your positive energy. This means if you want the greatest opportunity to move the needle with your customers, that distorted reflection I talked about, oh, we gotta fix that. Because in reality, people are swiping left to you and your company when they could easily be swiping right. Now, if my profile picture is putting off a negative vibe, you won't connect with me. In one second, you'll decide whether or not I am competent, likable, and or influential. Now, we at Up My Influence do a lot of connecting and lead generation on LinkedIn. And on that platform, it's all about branding and authority. Now, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so you don't miss my video on this subject. I'll share how we land more than 20 appointments a week using LinkedIn. Now, it's so easy to swipe left to business by simply not responding to an offer to connect. Have you ever sent an email to someone and they completely ghosted you? Why do you think they didn't bother to respond? Or why did they say no? Well, if your profile image conveys incompetence, unlikability, I'm not sure if that's a word, or you have no influence or ability to make a difference in their life, they won't tell you why they don't respond. They just don't. Maybe they didn't like the offer, but honestly, a super authentic, likable go-getter is just going to do more business. And that's what we want people to feel in that first second by seeing your profile picture. Then you can back up that suspicion by being the amazing person that you are. Okay. Do I have you convinced that this is important? I mean, we're talking about more than sales. Your personal branding impacts your ability to change the world in a positive way because you'll be better able to enroll people to your vision. So here's what you need to do. Hire a photographer. Go ahead, bite the bullet, it's gonna be a very smart use of $100 to $300. Now, different parts of the world are gonna be more or less, but I find that if you ask around, you'll generally find someone really great in that price range. Now, of course, you can spend more, so one thing you might also consider to manage costs is to work with a small group to all get new profile photos done at the same time. Now that way the photographer can shoot many subjects in the same location and schedule, saving everybody time and money. Now a great business profile picture needs to be technically good. Lighting, color, background, composition, and everything else are all going to be judged by your potential audience. So I want you to be thoughtful about a couple of things. Number one, choose your background carefully. Your background gives you an opportunity to convey your industry, what sort of setting people should expect to see you work, and you can even convey some authority depending on where you are. A modern upscale office gives a different message than a backyard party. Number two, choose your outfit and accessories very carefully. A great exercise for this would be to search out the most successful people in your field and match what they do while still working in your personality. People will judge you for it. 
The fact that I'm wearing an Apple Watch communicates something. The fact that I have a dark titanium wedding band communicates something. Your hair definitely communicates something. From your perspective, this should all be very intentional. Now, along with this, make sure that you've thought out what you should do regarding makeup. Now, it's likely because I've been on TV more than 700 times and I've got some experience with this, but gentlemen, don't be afraid to wear a bit of powder to take care of shine, which is never a good look. Just make sure you work with a pro to choose the right brand and shade. Now, otherwise you're gonna look all janky. Now, personally for TV, I'm kind of a Mac cosmetics guy myself. Number three, ahead of time, I want you to work out your pose, smile, where to put your hands, whether you use your left or right profile, how zoomed in you're comfortable with. I could spend a whole separate video on this subject alone. So make sure you're subscribed right now so you won't miss this. Now for now, I want you to consider a couple tried and true principles. Here's the first one. When you smile, try putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth or against your teeth and put your chin forward a bit. You can experiment with this, but most photographers will tell you that this will help define your jawline and it looks good. Now let's talk hands. Guys, do not fig leaf. I know nearly anywhere you put your hands, it's just gonna feel awkward, but don't put them in front of your junk. That's just weird. You might choose your pockets, cross your arms, lay your fingers in a contemplative style. You got options. Now, whether you're a dude or a lady, just check out what the most successful people in your space do and copy them. Now, if you just don't know how to pose, I'm gonna hook you up with a great free resource. Go to photofeeler.com and upload your photos showing multiple poses. People will judge you based on whether you wanna use your photo for dating, social, or business. To get more votes, all you need to do is rate others. It's a cool service. Honestly, I was a little nervous ahead of time, my fragile ego and all, but I got some good feedback on the profile picture I have been using. The biggest surprise is that I scored a 9.6 on likability. And on most days, I, I want people to like me. Number four, a great photographer will handle some cleanup work on the photos to make sure they're ready for prime time. Let them do their thing, but don't feel afraid to push back if you don't like the work. And always get a copy of the raw photos as well as any touched up versions, just in case you want to apply your own effects later on. You may never need it, but I don't want you to be stuck with only having an overly filtered image, which would limit what you can do with it later. Number five, go ahead and test your new images on Photo Feeler for honest feedback. Now you can ask your friends, but they'll usually lie to protect your feelings in case there's something amiss, especially in front of others on social media. They don't want to embarrass you. Finally, number six, update every single social media profile with your new image. We call this brand consistency. You may not use Twitter very often, but if there's a dopey picture of you on an account you haven't used in a year, it isn't going to work to your advantage. At the very least, make sure you own your personal brand and don't put your name on anything crappy hide or clear out accounts you wouldn't be proud of because it's all a part of what you'll be judged on. So there you go. If this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that I've done my job. Now I can tell you that there's likely some really big things I missed in this video. Please help me know what I should cover next by posting a question or quick comment below. Also, if you'd like me to offer any feedback on your business-related profile picture, post a link to it below and I'll give you some honest feedback. I normally charge around $800 an hour for branding work, but I'd be happy to be of service on YouTube for free. And the highest compliment you could offer would be to share this video with a friend who you know would benefit from the advice I shared. 
I promise to make you look smart to your social media friends because you're into this kind of stuff. Me too, which is why I'd also be honored if you hit subscribe. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like the value I share in my videos, but if we part ways without a subscription, you won't see what I have lined up in the weeks ahead, and I promise to work tirelessly to help you grow your authority, influence, and revenue. We have a great influencer and media authority agency you can check out at upmyinfluence.com where I have a free webinar, lots of helpful articles and videos, and of course, if you're at the point where you have budget to grow your revenue, we have services specifically designed to connect you with influencers and grow your authority as a media celebrity yourself. Thank you so much for watching.